Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is a British inventor, entrepreneur, and philanthropist known around the world for making the vacuum cleaner sexy. He has just launched a new hair dryer. Please welcome to The Late Show, James Dyson. <laughs> Well, ni nice to have you on. There aren't yeah. a lot of inventors out there who people can just name off the top of their head. And James yeah. Dyson is one of them. I have a bone to pick with you before we get started. Oh, dear. OK, I don't yeah, know if anyone's yeah. warned you about this. Yeah, but yeah. you know the uh, the hand dryer things? What are those called? The uh, the things you Air blades. The air blades, yeah. OK. They I first scrape saw the, the water off your hands. They scrape the water, like, because the yes. air goes yeah. like that and just does that. Yeah, yeah. I first saw those in 2008 when I was in the UK uh, over there with my, with my family. And we, I, we were, my boys and I were in the, in the men's room, and we were like, what is this? No, no explanation. I went, I think you put your hands in it. And I, it's a beautiful design, but when I pull my hands out, you know, because you put your hands in, they're yeah, wet, yeah, and you yeah. pull them out, uh, the, the, it scrapes it off beautifully until it gets to your fingers. Because then you want to spread your fingers so it can get out between them, but then the electric eye doesn't register that my hand's there anymore, and it leaves my fingers wet. Uh. <laughs> And I'm forced to do this, go back and forth, and fool the electric eye with this little dance I have to do. Uh, I wait. I wait. Thank you. I accept so your apology. It's a lousy hand. I've been away. You flew all the way from London to apologize. Oh yeah, to I, me. Thank I, I, you. I have. It was a have you... lousy hand job, was it? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> am I the first person? Am I the first person to complain about that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's called an exclusive. <laughs> I want to talk about your, your origin story. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you went to art school. This is, this is you right there yes. doing a little work. Yeah. And then is it true that the, the woman sitting Painting. next to you is your a wife? Now my your, wife. Now yeah, your wife. wife. For okay. Five years. Yeah. How did you go from this, from this to hair dryers and vacuums? Well, the principal at my college said, you don't want to do painting, you want to do design. So I went to the Royal College of Art actually to do architecture. And while I was doing architecture, I discovered this wonderful man called Buckminster Fuller, American architect and inventor. Yes, the geodesic dome, the geodesic dome, the dynamaxian car, stuff and like I that. I suddenly realized that engineering was really more interesting than architecture, because what Buckminster Fuller was doing was creating these beautiful buildings that were pure, pure engineering. And so I wanted to be an engineer. And it's slightly odd, because I did classics at school and then started off painting and suddenly I want to be something that I never imagined I would possibly be. Did you have to like brush up on your, your, your math and your science to do that? Like how does one yeah. go from art and, and such to engineering? Uh, well, I went to work for an engineering company, so I learned the engineering process, the inventing process, if you like. So you didn't have to have any engineering information to get hired by an engineering company. <laughs> No. That's a really, that's a very generous yes, company. A very enlightened chairman. Yeah, that, yes, that really is. Yes, that really yes, is. Yes, yes. So what was this? Is this the in first? Fact, yes. In fact, he asked me to design a high-speed landing craft. That's is that what this is. Which is that? Yes. So exactly this is this that. is the first thing that you designed, and were you a were you a boatman? Like had you worked no, on? No, didn't know anything about boats or indeed glass fiber, which is what it's made of. So I was learning as I went. On wow. The process. And yeah. was this successful? Yeah, very successful. Yeah, no, we sold hundreds of them around the world. It's still being made. Wow. Do you see yourself as an do you do you do you see yourself as an inventor? Yes, but, but more a development of technology and a designer and engineer of products than an inventor. I think people of an inventor is a mad person in a shed working on their own. <laughs> and indeed I, I was that for quite a while building my 5,127 prototypes, but... I'm sorry, um, how many prototypes? 5,127 prototypes of the vacuum. For the, vac for the yes, vacuum. Yes, and I always say there are 5,126 failures. So I'm a, a man of failure. There's nothing wrong with failure, by the way. It's, uh, you learn from failure. If you succeed, you, you don't learn from it. You sort of walk away. I learn but, all the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. we edit that part of the show out. And, and also... <laughs> The wonderful thing about failure is that you're never satisfied, you see, and I think mm. it's a life of dissatisfaction. Mm. You're always trying to do something better. What does, what does this do? They plug this in for me back here. Ah. What is this? 
Does it? Would this? Does this make julienne fries? What is this supposed uh, to do? <laughs> now, what, well, this looks after your scalp. Okay. And what it does is, as you put it closer to your head. So it's a hair dryer. It's a, it's a hair dryer. Okay. It's a hair dryer. And as you put it closer to your head, it, it uh, reduces the heat, so you can't fry your hair. How does it or know your how scalp. close it is to? It's my got head. a time of flight sensor in the middle. Time of flight, flight sensor. That thing in that sort that of thing. Oh, that thing right in the middle. Yeah, the torpedo in the middle there. So, so it can tell whether it's looking at your head or not. There you are. There you are. <laughs> oh, wow. The closer it gets to your face, the, the cooler it gets. Yeah, that's the idea. So you don't fry your head, damage your hair, and damage your skull. And also, it recognizes which attachment you put on it. You put the rough dryer on. The uh, rough dryer? The rough dryer. That's what they call it. I like it you rough. Know, the, the, <laughs> you, Especially you, if I've had an unsatisfying hand job. Yeah, exactly. 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 You've been real funny. Okay, last thing. There you go. Ah. Now, I have to get to these because I can smell these from over there. Yeah. You're not just an engineer. You're also you you, you also grow food. What yes. do we have here? And That's why true. do you grow food? Uh, well, I, I worked on farms when I was young, and I've always wanted to be a farmer. So I'm part time. I'm a farmer, mm -hmm. and these are all year round strawberries. Yes, do try one. Nice and zesty. <laughs> That's a strawberry. Yeah. yeah. Can you get these in the United States? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> mm, mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish I could share. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Lovely well, to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The supersonic neural is on sale now. James Dyson, everybody. We'll be right back.